Hey everyone, it's me Charmley, and I'm back for another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. So in the last episode we beat, um, the last gym leader, we beat Whitney, and her horrible milk tank. It wasn't that bad though. Um, and now we're gonna continue on for our question of the day, Sun and Moon's, um, with new, about something new, we got a lot of news, so let's do a Sun and Moon question again. Um, question is, what Pokemon would you want to see in Sun and Moon? Like, any Pokemon you want, what Pokemon do you think they should make? Some people want Pokemon, like a Dolphin Pokemon, and that would be really cool, like a Dolphin Pokemon. It's a wonder they haven't done that yet, but that'd be something neat. So, what kind of Pokemon you like to see? It'd also be cool if they had, like, a, um, Watermelon Pokemon. Cause that'd be neat. It could be Water Grass type, another Water Grass type, instead of, like, Ludicolo and stuff. That'd be neat. Um, so let's see. We beat the Gym Leader, and... Yeah, we should just move on with the route, but let me check if my Pokemon need to go to the Pokemon Center. Yes, they do! Let's go ahead and do that. Talk to Nurse Joy, even though that's not necessarily her name in this game. But, oh well. I can still call her that. And there we go. Also, about Sun and Moon, a cool function they um, told about is like there's gonna be like a Rotom thing where it's like it's a Rotom Pokedex where a Rotom is in your Pokedex and it should improve like communication with Pokemon. That's kind of awesome, because if you get to talk to your Pokemon, that'll be cool. Like, actually get to see what they have to say. <clears throat> that'll be awesome. Unless they're going to be talking about how bad of a trainer people are. <laughs> but then that stinks. But anyway. I think that'll be a cool function if that happens. Let's go ahead and fight this person. Are you going to the gym? Me too. That's nice. But I've already beaten the gym. Unless you're referring to the next gym. Okay, so Volpix. Let's switch out. It'll be so great when Inspector gets some good moves. Let's send out Leo. She needs some experience too. Come on, Inspector, and of course, burn. Well, at least Cleo's not a physical attacker. Thundershot. Ooh, and he gets paralyzed. That's nice. You get hurt by burning a little bit, but. Mm, we should be able to take this thing out. Yeah, and it's slower, too, so. That's good. Get hurt again by burn. That full piece ain't low enough HP. Let's go for a tackle. Finish it off. Or not. Yeah, burn. Right. Probably should have just went for the one shot. And there goes full piece. So they each gain some experience. Not that much, though. Ugh. Like, Inspector, you gotta get some experience. You gotta get some better moves. Jeez Louise. Alright, there's a double battle. Let's keep Inspector up front and have... Um... Let's have... King of Red Lions up, too. They both need experience. Oh, this is not a double battle. I'm gonna show my girlfriend I'm hot stuff. Are you really now? What do you see about that? Challenged by this person. Here we go. Um, switch out, send out, King of Red Lions. Oh, poison. Good. 
water gun. Rapid spin, that didn't do that much. And that didn't do over half. Oh well. Hey, that defense curl is not gonna help you, thanks for you're raising your defense, not your special defense. And water gun. These distinctions are doing a lot of damage, so that's good. And there goes Century. Some experience, but no level up. Let's keep King of Red Lions in, but then actually switch out. Well, actually, no. We have Headbutt. Let's go for that. And it went for Tail Whip. Hmm. That didn't do much. Let's just use Curse then. Oh no. This thing's starting to roll out. Let's go for. Let's use Yawn actually. We don't need these things real out getting stronger. There, now let's just go for headbutts. See that? Now, see that power is increasing. It's a good thing I used John. So now it's asleep. And we can finish it with headbutts. See? You guys, I have strategy. And with that, there goes the arrow. And to the red lines, gains the level. Level 12. Defeated Camper Elliot. Oh, next. My boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. Wow! That was not subtle at all. Switch out. And send out. Yoshi! You can growl at us all you want, Pikachu. You can't stop this racing. Unless, of course, it misses. Hopefully it doesn't, right, Yoshi? That's a boy. That a boy, Yoshi. Good job. And let's go for it again. Please don't. Pikachu, please. Stop. Oh, well, Yoshi just doesn't care. He's wearing his glasses today. Critical hit. Goodness gracious. Inspector Slope 14, do you learn a move? No, of course not. Okay, another trainer, let's just keep Inspector up front, he needs as many levels as he can get. He needs to get a good move, so it'll be useful to the team. Kemper Ivan, smooth out Diglett. Let's send out King of Red Lions, hopefully he doesn't get hurt that much when we switch in. Fantac, oh. Well, as long as you don't miss, you should be okay. Oh no. What is with these double team and then now sand, sand attacks? Goodness gracious. What, what is this route with accuracy? You kidding me, right? Oh good. Or then. How much does that do? Good, one more should do it. Let's try again. Please don't kill. Nope, not a kill. Good. And water down. Good job, King Red Lions. Who's Zubat? You know who's good against a Zubat? Cleo! But I better heal. 
that burns. That burn coupled with damage might knock her out. There we go. She is thunder shot. <clears throat> but yeah, back to the question of the day thing, it's like, there are lots of Pokemon that can be made. And it's like, it's neat, because Pokemon are made with, like, different things. There are bunches of Pokemon with different ideas. There are inanimate Pokemon. There are Pokemon based on animals. Pokemon based on legends. There's just a lot of possibilities they can have with it. And that'd be interesting to see different types of things that they could do with it. Like, be awesome. Um, let's see, send out Yoshi. And let's use Razor Leaf. There you go, Stiglet. Beat it, Camper Ivan. Ralph? Why are you calling? Did you wreck something? Sup? This is Ralph, how are you? I've been spending more time with my Goldeen than I have with my kids. Wow. That's a bit sad, actually. Yeah. No, duh. You call your mom sometimes, too. Oh, no, no, no. She's been calling me plenty last episode, like. If you haven't seen that, just go back, because it's full of mother interruptions with the phone. Just spinning up my money. Goodness gracious. Let's just kill this guy. French fry hair over here. Behold my dexterity and grace. Behold my useless ghastly right now as he switches out. I'm sorry, Inspector, but until you get a good move, you're kind of useless right now. Let's see. Golem. But don't worry, Gasly. Inspector, you'll get strong. Eventually. Let's use Magnitude. Magnitude 7. That's it. Actually, that's Voltorb's level 2. Of course, that thing is going now. And why is there a level 2 Voltorb up on this route? Well, of course, they're probably going to get stronger because this guy has a bunch of Pokemon. So it's like Voltorb just getting higher in level. Just keep Magnetoing and doing your job, Golem. Magnitude 4, will that kill? I guess it will. Critical hit it does. Voltorb. Voltorb. Magnitude again. I'm ramming with that. Magnitude seven again. But I record. It'd be nice when I get the XP share. Um, let's just stay in. Man, the golem's already got levels. It doesn't really need levels right now, but until my other two mates are able to be useful right now, kind of having to rely on my tops, well, my my toughest guys on this team. Golem's really pulling his weight. Be a juggler, Irvin, or Irwin, or something, and. Yay, we got his number. And next, um, man, you talk a lot. Next, it's a route full of trainers. You're practicing your fire breathing. It's kind of dangerous if you're in an area that's really forested or something. So, why are you doing that out there full of trees? An area full of trees. Let's use um, nothing. We switch out. 
into... Actually, we stay in and heal King Red Lions. Come on, Inspector, at least try to take a hit. Smoke screen. Well, that's okay. You're taking that hit. You are already a smoke ball, but really that's just like adding more smoke to you or something. You're like a gaseous orb. And that didn't do much. And no burns. That's nice. What are them? And that didn't do much either. Keep water building. Eventually. Oh gosh. Come on. Try to hit through it. You're derpy enough not to notice. The, um. Smoke screen all around your eyes. out that um magma and there's another one just right level 16 yeah we're using yawn Now let's go for a water gun. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you guys sit through this. So just give me a second. Oh, goodness gracious. Whoa, that happened. Who would have guessed that thing had faint attack? Well, Golem, I choose you. Use magnitude. Magnitude seven. Adios, Magmaro. And yet again, Golem Games levels. He wants to learn. Hey, let's see. He wants to learn rollout. Okay. I got Rock Throw, which does 50. I got Rollout, which does 30. And it gets stronger. Um. Got Self Destruct, Magnitude, Rock Polish. Rock Polish can come in handy. Also, Magnitude is my only ground type move right now. Um. Yeah, I'm not teaching Rollout. My moves are good enough. Um. Give up on Rollout. Ow, I scorched the tip of my nose. Ouch. Are you okay? I guess you are. You wanna... You just give me your number, okay? There's police officer. And there's grass over here and stuff. Okay, so this is... Today's Saturday, that means the bug catching contest. All that. Hmm. You know what? Um. The bug catching contest today, why not? Actually, it might not be good to have. My inspector, you're gonna have to prove yourself now. I guess you're coming with me. Uh, I guess. Or not. Eh, who knows? Here we go. Catch some bugs. Oh, 
Okay, what is this? Are you kidding me? Weeding? No, no, no. Nope. Nope, Spectre. You gotta help me. You gotta improve. You gotta do good. Well, at least we got hypnosis on the Spectre, so we can put whatever we find to sleep. A Butterfree. Now that's nice. Let's use hypnosis. Ooh, good job. And let's um, throw a sport ball. Nothing. But at least it's still asleep. So let's throw another one. One shake, two shake, three shake, and there we go. We got Butterfree. Butterfly Pokemon. It collects honey every day. It rubs honey onto the hairs on its legs to carry it back to its nest. Okay. That's interesting. What is this? Hey, we already got your evolved form. So bad. Bug off. Bug off. Buzz off. Now let's get out of here. Where's the dude that I talked to? Are you, I might not have to sit through waiting until the thing the timer is actually done with this, so I just need to find the person. Wow, a B drill. Run. Where's that person? Mm. Maybe you just leave? I am? There we go. Still 18 minutes. Do you want to fish now? Yes. And, let's see. Everyone's together. We will now judge the Pokemon you've caught. Hmm. We have chosen a winner. Are you ready for this? Drum roll, please! Blah. Yeah, no. Imaginary drum roll. Placing third is the ace trainer Abby, who caught a writhing Paris. Yay. That's, she got some points. Then we got Ed, who got a pincer. And finally, Timmy, who caught a Butterfree. Yay, I won. An awesome Butterfree. 315 points. Timmy, the first place finisher, wins the Sunstone. That's nice. Yeah, let's give a nickname to this Butterfree. It's not a member of the team. We'll call you... Hmm. We'll call you Honey. You put sweet stuff on your legs for some reason, so it must be like honey or something, nectar or something. There we go. Lyra, what do you want? Hello, this is Lyra. How are you? I was walking along with my Meryl and evolved into a Zoomeril. I was so surprised. See you. Yeah, see you. Okay, after all that, I think this is good enough to call it an episode. So, thank you all for watching. See you all next time.